Pritchard. Any chance you're still there? Jensen, my god. You've been offline for days. Where the hell are you? I was hoping you'd tell me. I'm pinging you now. You're in... Singapore. Something's wrong, Jensen. I pinged you, and a second later I lost your GPL signal. It's like you disappeared into a black hole. Gotta be a jammer. Well, obviously. If you can find the transmitter and take it offline, I'll be able to track you. And keep you on a tighter leash. I've got more important things to do than help you keep tabs on me. If Megan and her team are here, there's no time to waste. Access granted. organization today issued an unprecedented recall on augmentation technology. For days, reports of temporary malfunctions and electrostatic disturbances have been flooding in from around the globe. Elizabeth Duclair, spokeswoman for the WHO, confirmed that the cause of these disruptions has been linked to a major malfunction in the multi-channel peripheral nerve biochip, a device which transmits neural impulses directly to inorganic tissue. Urging people to Returning to tonight's biggest story, the World Health Organization today issued an unprecedented recall on augmentation technology. Access granted. Temporary malfunctions and electrostatic disturbances have been flooding in from around the globe. Elizabeth. 
Elizabeth Duclair, spokeswoman for the WHO, confirms that the cause of these disruptions has been linked to a major malfunction in the multi-channel biochip. You must have done something, Jensen. Four of our GPL signals just popped up, including yours. Koss, Colvin, Faraday. I'm not picking up Dr. Reed. Send me the coordinates you do have. And Pritchard, tell Sarif. I can't. While you were incommunicado, Mr. Darrow invited him, Bill Taggart, and the UN delegates to Panchea. They're halfway to the Arctic by now. Great. Access granted. Access granted. Thank you. 
Access grant. Access granted. Access granted. Access granted.
Adam? Adam Jensen? Good grief, lad. What the blaze has happened to you? I made the mistake of surviving. I'm here to get you out, Dr. Faraday. I told the silly that Seraph wouldn't stop looking. Sevchenko's dead, Dr. Faraday. I'm sorry. I figured as much. One day, he was just gone, and they wouldn't say why. We were all afraid, so we just kept to the work. They forced me to create a signal pattern that could broadcast software upgrades directly into a person's implanted circuitry. Upgrades? That do what? Whatever instructions have been encoded into them. They said it was to improve efficiency at clinics, but that wouldn't be the only application. Far from it. Really? What about Dr. Reed? Her GPL signal isn't broadcasting. Do you know where she is? In the secured zone. You'll never get in there. Too many guards. A distraction might encourage them to leave the area. Say, an incident in one of the labs. A ah, bold plan, my boy. But one small incident would never be enough. No, you're right. But three simultaneous accidents might. <laughs> I like your style, son. And it just might work if you can get near Eric to agree. But timing them to occur at once, that will be the trick. I'll worry about the timing. For now, sit tight and wait for my signal. There's one thing you're forgetting, lad. They can track our GPL signals. I thought as much. But we have no choice. There may be something. Vasily wanted to upload a virus onto their security network, disable their GPL protocols. Eric or Nia might know more about it. Any idea who's behind this, Doc? The kidnapping, the facility? Not really. Remarkable, considering I've been here six months. You would have thought someone would let something slip. But if it doesn't have to do with the research, you don't get a word out of them. Sounds like the guards are well trained. But what kind of threats were needed to stop the other researchers from talking? Well, there were threats early on just to get us to work. Of course, Vasily saw right through that. Kept saying they needed us. I suppose in his case, the risk outstripped the return at some point. Damn them. Dr. Sevchenko probably knew the risks and accepted them. That he did. Go on, lad. Let's put this plan of yours into action. It's time to teach these wankers a lesson. I'm still looking for Dr. Koss. I don't suppose you could point me in the right direction. Eric showed an amazing bit of courage a few weeks back. Slipped a note into one of the project reports, telling me they've got him locked inside a lab on the third floor of the Microgen building. I suspect, though, they'll have cameras and other security devices protecting it. You'll have to be on your guard, son. Have you seen Nia Colvin lately? I haven't found her yet. They've done a good job keeping us all separated, but I suspect she'll be in the Microgen building. There's a skywalk connecting the two buildings. If you can find it, you won't have to go back outside. Gotcha. Just be ready. When you feel your GPL vibrate, set off that distraction. Understood, lad. But do be careful.
Access granted. 